What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my arcade's new racing player featuring the games Pole Position and Pole Position 2. Is it any good? Is it even playable with that little bitty gas pedal and steering wheel? Well, let's unbox it and check it out. Taking a look at the packaging, you can see the front sides, top of the little QR code, the bottom, which nobody pays attention to the bottom. Come on, look at that. There's all kind of good information right there. The back has got a little magnetic tab. You can see pole position one and two open it up and there we go with all the information uh you are going to need uh either four double a's or the usb type c cable i have both so we can check them both out we'll try this thing powered with the cable power with the batteries and see which one works out better you know if it's going to sit on your desk i think why not just have the cable and just leave it plugged in and uh you know that way you can always have a little racing action okay let's go ahead and unbox this thing grab the razor knife i struggle a little bit with some of the my arcade packaging i don't really know how you're supposed to open this <laughs> it's a little bit weird uh it could be just my own personal mental challenges uh you know it's a struggle every day but i think we may have this figured out taking it there and there so that's a solid flap there one in the back is that the way this goes maybe my arcade hit me up with some instruction, an instruction manual on how to, how to actually open the damn thing. Okay, here we go. There we go. Come on. Get that open there. Blade out of the way. Just gonna have this plastic top. Get this here. Throw that on the floor. Make a mess that I'll have to clean up later. Uh, it does come fully assembled. Take this out of the box. Go. Set this on the bottom. Little rubber feet on the bottom to keep it stable. Okay, let's set this off to the side for right now. Check out all the other cool stuff you get inside the box. Okay, so we are going to get another fairly thick instruction manual. They don't mess around. My arcade has a very detailed, very thick manual. Okay, put that off to the side. Um, a certificate of authenticity. So they're including these. I don't know how long they've actually done this, uh, but you're getting a certificate of authenticity for pole position. So... Uh, is uh, this is authentic, genuine, and crafted and produced by my arcade? So, there you go, put that off to the side. You're also going to get the uh, the standard poster that comes with all the stuff anything different, anything new. You can see kind of the three different categories of uh, of my arcade stuff micro players, nano players. The pocket players are really fun. Actually, have the uh, I'll touch this right here. I like these, I have a Contra one that I really dig. Uh, I really want to get. I think I want to get the Atari. I heard that the Street Fighter is not going to have the arcade ROMs, so that's kind of disappointing. So probably going to skip that. Space Invaders is pretty cool, but yeah. So that is another video for another time. Let's go ahead and get back to the action. Pole position. Pole position. Look at this thing. Let's take a few measurements real quick before we peel off the screen protector. So you're looking at, um, let's see, a total width of about four and a quarter inches, and. Let's see. Depth at the deepest point, four inches. If you don't include the steering wheel, maybe about four and a half inches. And then the overall height, it's going to be about seven and a half. Flip it over on the back, you can see this is obviously the battery door. You're going to have to have a screwdriver to get this open. You're going to have your volume buttons, plus and minus, up and down. Your power button is here. Headphone jack, brightness setting, and then this is the USB Type-C input there. See the... Uh, I mean, this is, okay, so this is uh, basically, this is the form factor of the joystick player minus the joystick. Um, all your buttons are down here. Everything's brightly colored. And, you know, as far as the steering wheel goes, it's got just, I think, just enough resistance to make some sense. I like that. A little shifter. What? A little gas pedal. So this is going to be one of those things. Maybe you have to play. How do you play it like this? You play. Maybe you're going to play you Shift. Sitting it down may be a bit, a bit much. I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and peel off the screen protector. Come on. I don't want to get the blade out here. I, want to I don't want to scratch the bezel. There we go. Let's go ahead and just peel that off. There we are. To reveal the screen, which is going to measure in about what size? About what size? Diagonally measuring in at about, let's take it this way. About three and 
three eighths inches, so a little over three and a quarter inches, so three and three eighths. Okay, so instead of putting the batteries in, let's go ahead and just power this bad boy on real quick with the USB Type-C cable. Plug it into the back, and then we'll turn it on. I think this is a little bit of a different screen, maybe. Oh, what? What? This is cool. So we have a new startup uh, screen for the, uh, yeah, for the actual, I guess that's going to be standard for the racing players. Racing player uh, kind of insinuates or hints at uh, more racing players coming in the future. That's interesting. You know, this is this is probably not just a one-off. This may be one of many. Okay, so checking out the menu, you've got pole position one and two, selectable by the steering wheel. There we go. Let's see, steering wheel makes that selection. Shifter up and down does nothing. Brake, gas. Oh, gas is going to be your select. I guess down here you have your home button. Will take you back to the home menu. Let's go ahead and credit in. Oh, where's the speaker? Where is the speaker in the back? I will say that this sounds a little bit better than the joystick player. It's the first time I hear it. Let's see, the speaker sounds a little bit cleaner. The sound is a little bit crisper, I think. Steering wheel to uh, to pick your track. Let's go with the easiest one, obviously that one there, and then volume up just a little bit. Cut it in. Hit the start button. Hit the pedal. Oh, hit the pedal to start. Here we go. Yes, pole position two. I'm gonna hold it like this. Wow. Huh. So it looks like a little mini IPS. I don't know if this is an IPS display or not, but it looks really good. Whoa. Okay. The steering is very responsive. Let's turn the volume down. Oh, that looks good. Okay. So we've got some... Uh, so now as far as the branding goes... Let's turn the volume down. Branding and uh, logos off to the side. The billboards are not going to have some of the standard stuff from back in the day. The, the original... I think there was even like a... <laughs> there may have been some cigarette uh, advertisements. Marlboro and all that back then. Uh, that's not going to be the case here. Looks like you've just got some generic stuff. Obviously, it says Namco. Namco, that's <laughs> just don't don't drink a <laughs> symbol, and then of course you have uh, you have uh, just like generic race car symbols. Okay, let's, let's hit the home button. Let's go back to pole position one. That's going to be the more memorable of the two. Turn up the volume just a little bit so I can hear. Pole position. There we go. Hear the sound. Let's go ahead and credit in. There we go. The graphics are notably better on pole position two. I don't know if I ever played pole position two. Just pole position one. And the billboards are definitely, yeah, they're just kind of showing some generic stuff here. Oh, the steering is really pretty, pretty tight. I think you're gonna probably you want to, you're gonna to want to play it like this. Steering is pretty precise. Doesn't take much. Oh, okay. So when you shift high, it's uh, really gets going. It takes some getting used to. I mean, this is uh, this is weird. You know, this is not a D-pad like maybe some uh, other handhelds you're used to playing racing games on, where your D-pad just kind of you know tapping left and right to steer. But you can kind of get used to it. It's you know, don't get excited and turn real sharp. Oh, 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 there you go. Look, I'm number one. Yay. Um, hmm. This is. This is kind of cool. Not something I was expecting. I thought this would maybe just be a little bit wonky. And it is definitely very sensitive. You're going to have to pay close attention. I do like how the... Oh, yeah, look at that. So the volume controls show up at the very bottom of the screen. 
giving you an idea of like an indication of how high you are in the volume. Shift low. <laughs> the speaker, I don't know if they've, uh, it's probably the same speaker, but I think they've improved the sound quite a bit. Mess around with it. This is definitely something that, uh, okay, so if you're a fan of pole position, you might actually want to think about picking this up. This is, this is a little bit better than I expected. And as far as where you're going to be able to pick this up, you can pick this up basically anywhere. Amazon, Walmart, GameStop, all those great places. This is going to be around 50 bucks. Is it worth it? Um, you know, I got to say, this is something different. This is something unique. This isn't just playing on a D-pad. It is not bad for their first entry. Not bad for the first driving arcade, uh, driving player. I'm interested to see what other games come out. 50 bucks does seem a little steep. Uh, this is probably maybe, you know, maybe you want to wait and catch this on sale. Um, I think maybe $30 for sure. Maybe even, I don't know that I would be mad about spending $40 on this. This isn't bad. You do have the option to put batteries in this thing and take it on the go. But I think this is probably going to be better suited just sitting on a desk. And uh, maybe if you just want to get a little bit of a racing fix, this may be exactly what you're looking for. I want to say a special thanks to My Arcade for sending this my way for the purposes of review. And I can't wait to see them again at CES 2025 where they're going to be bringing out some brand new stuff. What's it going to be? I don't know, but I'm excited to check it out. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this channel. I'll see all of you right back here next time.